welcome to anm education college of creativity and technology in this video we will learn about points and lines what is a point a point is the first and simplest element of visual design a point is an element that has position but no extension it is a single mark in space with precise but limited location point serves as the focus of something visual and therefore draws attention even if there is only one point or one mark on a blank page our brains will make it mean something if there are two points on a page immediately the eye will make a connection and we see a line what is a line a line connects two points it's also the path made by a moving point lines can be thick or thin they can be long or short they can be vertical horizontal or diagonal they can be solid or dotted or dashed lines can be curved or straight or combination of both there are several types of lines defined by their use first vertical lines vertical lines are straight up and down and perpendicular to horizontal lines second horizontal lines are straight up and down and perpendicular to vertical lines third diagonal lines diagonal lines are lines that are straight in any direction except vertical or horizontal fourth zigzag lines zigzag lines are series of diagonal lines joined end to end fifth curved lines curved lines are lines that bend in any amount of degree they may be gently wavy to tightly wound spirals sixth dashed and dotted lines dashed and dotted lines are implied lines they are incomplete and allow objects to pass through them a thick vertical dotted or dashed line is still a strong line though not as strong where the line is completely solid seventh psychic line psychic line has no existence at all except as an imaginary ray of light joining for example a person's eye to the object they are looking at artists and designers use psychic lines to guide the viewer around a picture and direct their viewing experience some common types of line drawings are as follows first counter line drawings counter line drawings are drawings that use a fairly continuous line to represent the edge and surface detail of shape or object being drawn second gestural line drawing gestural line drawing are drawings that use quick pencil strokes to capture a scene gestural drawings imply action and movement third hatched and cross hatched line drawing hatched and cross hatched line drawings are drawings that consist of parallel lines or crossing parallel lines drawn to create in lightness and darkness and texture what is line direction a line can have length and direction and the orientation of a line can send different types of message to the brain of the viewer the three directions common in designs that are used to direct the eye are horizontal horizontal lines generally travel from left to right and are relative to the horizon in art it often establishes a feeling of rest as well as develops a ground in space next vertical 
vertical lines travel up and down they are perpendicular to horizontal lines they often emphasize height and in art lead the eye from bottom to top and vice versa next diagonal diagonal lines are angled and can either be an incline or decline slope artistically they can be described as unbalanced and are considered neither horizontal nor vertical diagonal lines demand a lot of attention from viewers they are filled with energy and are considered emotionally active they also express movement and depth and convey a sense of visual intensity a very small diagonal line can have much greater emotional impact on the viewer than larger horizontal or vertical lines horizontal and vertical lines are more passive emotionally and are also static from a spatial point of view horizontal lines convey a message of calmness while vertical lines send a message of strength let's take an example of diagonal lines this print design is entirely made up of diagonal lines and shapes the diagonal lines lead in different directions and there is no focus for the viewer's eye to rest on this shows how diagonal lines can be used to create a sense of movement energy or even uneasiness let's take an example of vertical lines this art has vertical lines that direct the viewer's eye down to the people walking by the river let's take an example of horizontal lines the horizontal lines in this art creates a sense of rest and space they suggest a flat landscape stretching out beyond the frame these calm lines help emphasize the mountain that rises behind them in the distance 